Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, your coach for the Carolina Kelly, us for the UCL or United Championship League. And today I am bringing you guys our week three battle of the Little Cup offseason up against the Toronto Togekiss, aka the Heated Mo. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to hit the like button down below to show your support. Support the boys, support the drinks, support the team. Don't forget to check out Mo's channel and all that stuff down in the description below. Check out Mo's side of the battle. And um, yeah, I am very, very, very afraid, as I am with every battle, because Mo has. I don't know. I didn't see any like glaring weaknesses in his team. Um, I mean, he had a few Pokemon weak to Psychic, but and, like Ground, you know, being like Screlp, uh, Trubbish, Nidoran, because and he has Electric as well. But the thing is, I don't have a Ground type. So, and I have Esper, but I don't really know what I want to run on Esper. Um, but let's just go ahead and go with Battle Start, and so I can go ahead and show you guys my team. Uh, so then I can go ahead and explain why I'm running what I'm running because I'm not really running um, I'm running something like different. I'm running will-o-wisp on Chimchar now. I'm running it on Chimchar mainly for the uh, Munchlax because that Munchlax like it's bulky and it, It's just sitting there and I need to get residual damage on it and I, I need to deal with that Munchlax in some way shape or form and body slam completely destroys pretty much everything I have except for Tortuga, but then there's a chance of getting paralysis, and I don't want that to happen. So uh, I gotta play around that Munchlax, and I have to get that Munchlax out of here. I'm running a physical Elekid this week just for the Munchlax because that Munchlax is it's a problem. It's a huge problem. So um, he he in fact brought the Munchlax. He brought the Munchlax. Um, he brought Electric, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, he brought the Numel, so I can't Volt Switch freely. He brought the Screlp, Dratini, and the Abra. So, uh, let's just go ahead and go over our team real quick here. So, like I said, I'm running Will O Wisp on this thing because I want to burn that Munchlax as soon as possible. Uh, Stealth Rock for Hazards, Sirens are outside, that's cool. Taunt. Um, just in case um, it wants to try to curse up, well, I'm going to taunt it so it won't curse anymore, and we'll be good to go there. Terra Volt is just a physical set, Ice Punch for the uh, Dratini, Cross Chop for the Munchlax, and Wild Charge is just Stab. Uh, I'm bringing Carvana for Speed Boost and Destiny Bond just in case we have to use Destiny Bond to get rid of one of his really fast Pokemon or even the Munchlax. Um, so we're running that. Uh, we have our Stunky here, um, number six, you know, Bradley. Um, our defogger just in case uh, sludge bomb uh, I thought he was gonna bring the Togepi but he didn't bring the Togepi so we're just gonna use this as uh, our defogger and uh, at the math is also there shell smasher being our sturdy berry juice um, Tortuga and then we have our car blast just to hit really hard so um, let's just go ahead and we're gonna lead off with our Chimchar and uh, good luck to my opponent and uh, I noticed he didn't bring the Hoot Hoot, so I don't think he has a reliable way. I don't think he has any way to get rid of my hazards, so I need to get my rocks up turn one. Turn one, I have to get my stealth rocks up because, oh wow, hmm, okay, what what do Electrikes typically do? The thing is, the thing is that I don't carry Fake Out on my set. I'm pretty sure Electric outspeeds this as well. It's base 65 speed. Chimchar, I want to say, is base 60. 61. Okay, so we're base 61. So this thing is outspeeding us no matter what. We have a Focus Sash, so we, we are able to live one hit. So, what do we do in this situation? Should we attempt to Fire Blast and try to get as much damage on this thing as possible? Or do we go ahead and go for the, let's see, Fire Blast has a 6.3 chance to Oko. Yeah, I don't, I mean, actually, I'm going to get up my Stealth Rock. I'm going to get up my Rocks because, again, he doesn't have anyone, I don't think anyone on his team can learn Rapid Spin. Um, and I need Rocks up on that side of the field to get some residual damage, or get some damage on switching. So... I'm going to go ahead and click Stealth Rock, and um, um, 
if he if he brings us down to our sash that's fine okay so he volt switches out so that's good that's good oh he didn't even bring us down to our sash so we have we have a whole nother turn we can use with this chimchar that's amazing um what does he want to go into though that's the thing i would say he'd go into Skrelp. um even dratini to be honest he could go into dratini and just dragging it up like right now if he really wanted to um i don't carry fake out unfortunately uh um, I don't I don't see him going into Munchlax right now. I don't see him going into Nummel either. I could see him going into either Skrelp or Dratini. Um, maybe even Abra, because Abra is just really fast. Um, but I, I really don't see him going into anything else. And we can handle, we can handle Abra with our Stunky. So, Abra is no problem. Um... But I don't see him going into... I see him going into Skrelp or Jatini. Just because I feel like those switches will be more beneficial to him. Because Skrelp would force me to switch out. Easy. And Dratini... Honestly, Dratini wouldn't really force... I don't think Dratini would force me to switch. What I'd probably end up doing to Dratini is... Because I know Dratini... I don't think Dratini outspeeds, does it? No, okay, Dratini does not outspeed Chimchar, so I can go for a Will-O-Wisp and um, Purloin. There's Dratini, sweet. All right, so we have this. I can go for the Will-O-Wisp, burn the Dratini, let Chimchar die. Well, actually, do I really want to let the Chimchar die? Mm. That's the question. That's the question. That is that is the question. That is the question of the century. It does get Aqua Jet. He can Aqua Jet us right now. Um, the question is, is he running it? But what would be our best? What would be our best play right now? Let's think. Let's think for a second. So, ah, uh, Dratini can get Aqua Jet. If he goes for the Aqua Jet, we're done. Um. He can go for a D-Dance right now. If he D-Dances on us, that's bad. That'll be really, really bad. Um, He can have E-Speed as well. Uh, I feel like E-Speed would KO us. Um, ah, There's so many things that this thing can do. And I really want my Chimchar around. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna switch out because I don't think Dratini. Ha, <sighs> ha! <sighs> this is a this is a tough decision right here. I'm gonna go into, mm, or do I just let Chimchar go? No, I I need my Chimchar. I want Chimchar because I need the will. I need to Willow that um that Munchlax. That's my that's my game plan. That is my game plan. I'm gonna stick to it for right now. So we're gonna go into Booyakasha. Booyakasha! Waterfall. Okay, so he waterfalls instead. Now I'm not sure what he wants to do with this Dratini. Um Because another waterfall will not KO us. It won't KO. So. And I know we do not outspeed at all. Now, the thing is, Tertuga Shell Smash against a Dratini. Let's say we're plus two attack. We are ripping everything apart. Yo, even without the boost. You know what? I'm not I don't think I should boost up right now. I don't think I should boost up. Um. Hmm. Because I don't think Dratini could KO us right now. So honestly, you know what? I'm going to Shell Smash. I'm going to Shell Smash. I'm going to do it because I don't think Dratini could KO us. I don't think he can. I just don't think so. I don't think so. Unless he gets like max roll. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And berry juice activates. We have our sturdy, and now we're shell we shell smash. 
So now I'm going to Stone Edge. I'm going to Stone Edge. He has nothing on his team that will appreciate a Stone Edge from this thing. Um, we are plus two right now. We are plus two right now. Um, yeah, he has nothing that will appreciate this. So I'm just going to click it. And if we miss. Oh, we missed. Are you kidding? Bro, that's so that's bogus. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to stone edge, please. Thank you. That's that's an Oko. Unless he had focus ash, that was an Oko. But I think he was it looked like he was locked in. It looked like he was locked in. Now he still outsped us, which is perfectly fine. Um perfectly fine, perfectly fine. We have what 11 speed. So our speed is what 22. So he, I think he was Scarf. I want to say he was Scarf Dratini. Um, which that's that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, because Dratini's speed maxed out is 14, and we shell smashed, and so our speed doubled. So we should be at a speed of 22. So we should have outsped, but we didn't. Or, yeah, but we didn't. Or, or maybe, maybe I'm calculating that wrong. Maybe I'm calculating that wrong. Cause, 22, 14, 7, 21. I don't know, maybe it was a speed tie. Maybe it was a speed tie, I don't know. But he has this Electrike out here. This Electrike. I don't know what this Electrike has, but I'm going to Aqua Jet because I don't want to risk him outspeeding us and going for Volt Switch or Thunderbolt or whatever it is. I don't want to risk it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just click on Aqua Jet right here. Uh, the Dratini is gone, so we don't have to worry about that. That's an electric resist that is gone, which is which is amazing. But now we just need to get rid of we need to get rid of Electrike and the Numble, and we're free to Volt Switch and do whatever we want. I don't think this Electrike has static. I think it might have Lightning Rod. Um, I think it gets Lightning Rod, doesn't it? It does. So I think it, I think this will have Lightning Rod on it. Judging. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll have Lightning Rod on it. So, I hope that, oh, oh man, we gotta, we have to get like a really high roll right now. Ah. Okay. He went for the Hidden Power. That was probably Hidden Power Grass. That was probably Hidden Power Grass. But... This gives me a switch into, I didn't see any item on that thing either. So I don't know what this, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know if it's scarf or specs, but I'm not gonna, I can't uh, use any electric type attacks on it. He can't switch it back in. He can't switch it out because I think it'll die to rocks. So. I'm just free to punch this thing and just KO it. Oh, he's Scarf. He's Scarf. He's Scarf. He's Scarf. He was, he's Scarf. That is Scarf. That is Scarf. That was Scarf. So what was his Dratini? Was Dratini just like, was I just messing up base speeds? I don't know. I think, I think I was just messing up base speeds, but he was not, he was Scarf. That was a Scarf Electrike, because Electrike, I mean, we're talking about a base 95 Elekid. Base 95 speed. <laughs> no, in no universe does an Electrike outspeed unless it's Scarf. So that was Scarf, most definitely. I want to say the Dratini was Scarf as well, but I might be wrong. Um, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just like, overestimating shell smash I don't know but he has this Abra here I don't like this Abra but I have I have the perfect thing for it though because I don't think Abra can
can, unless he runs Hidden Power Ground. Ooh, he might have Hidden Power Ground. Hmm. Cause the thing is that Stunky, he might have Hidden Power Ground. He might have Hidden Power Ground just for Stunky. But Stunky is our best switch. Um, I don't know if, let's see, Elekid, I'm looking at uh, Elekid versus this Abra here. Thunderbolt, Oak, Thunderbolt can Oko, but he might have a Sash. He might have a Sash, and I want to keep this Elekid around. And I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna I, I, I don't think he's I don't think he's choice or scar for outspeeding us so I'm just gonna volt switch out so get some nice damage on this uh, this Abra here and then we're gonna go into number six and hope and pray that he does not have, have him power uh, I'm, I suck at talking hidden power ground there you go <laughs> okay so now the question is, will he switch or will he stay in? That's the question. If he switches out, we can pursue. Hmm. Honestly, we are free to pursue. If he switches out, he will die. I'm pretty sure he will die. How did they not have a stunky set on this? That's really bad. They don't have they don't have a stunky set on this. Oh well. So stunky. Um, pursuit. And let me go ahead and look up Stunky right here. Stunky. Um, we have base 92 attack. So, well, not base 92 attack, but 92 EVs in attack. So, oh, yeah, pursuit. Yeah, pursuit. Yeah, let's go. If he switches out, it's over. He's dying. If he stays in, he's dying. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And pursuit trapped. So there goes, there goes the Abra. Whew, okay. Okay. So those are gone, but that Munchlax is still there, and I can't do anything to it because, well, no, I can't resist a body slam because my Tortuga is gone. He has a Skrelp. He could send in Skrelp right now. Or he could send in Nummel. I would say Nummel or Skrelp are coming in. That's Nummel. Okay. So here's the Nummel. I really don't know what Nummels do. Um, I don't see... I don't know what a Nummel does. Um, I foresee an Earth Power. That just seems a little too obvious. Um, I'd love to go into my car blast, but I didn't put drill run on this thing. I put knockoff on it, and I put poison jab for the Togepi. Probably should have ran drill run instead. But then again, why would I send in a car blast on a fire type? That's dumb. So what I think, what I think I will do. Let me see what Nummel. Let me see Carvana because oh, because Carvana versus a Nummel. Wow, Earth Power just KOs. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess I could just stay in and sucker punch. Okay. Earth power, that's fine. That's fine. Because if we KO, oh my. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch again. Okay, he goes for Stealth Rock. Nice play. Nice play, nice play. Nice play? Oh! See, if I defog, if I defog right here, that'll get rid of the rocks on his side. But, ah, I guess in this scenario, I need to preserve. I need to keep 
uh, my Chimchar at as much HP as possible. So I'm going to defog right here. I'm going to go ahead and defog and then uh, let him KO me with Earth Power if he wants to. And then, and then Aftermath will kick in. Then I can, I can switch in to really anyone and take out this Nummel. So, so rocks are gone, unfortunately. Stunky's gone, but Aftermath should kick in. That was a crit. Okay. Or, no Aftermath? Did I not put Aftermath on this? Wait, what? Wait, what? Where was Aftermath? Aftermath didn't take effect. Like, look, we have Aftermath. It didn't take effect. Huh? I'm really confused. I'm I'm actually a little bit confused on why that didn't work. Huh. Uh, okay, maybe somebody can tell me in the comment section why Aftermath did not work. Um, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, I can switch into really anyone and we're good to go. So, Little Jaws. Donna, Donna. And, true, I'm just, I'm free to Aqua Jet, to be honest. I'm free to Waterfall, Aqua Jet, do whatever I want. So, the Nummel is gone. And we get a speed boost. And then, let's see, what do Skrelp usually have? Skrelp. Ba -ba 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 -da. Oh, right, adaptability. Skrelp is a nasty Pokemon to deal with. Nasty Pokemon to deal with. I just remembered. I just remembered. Okay. I think what I'm going to do for Skrelp is I'm going to sack off my... I'm going to sack off my Chimchar. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, there's the Skrelp. Okay. I can't stay in on the Skrelp. This Skrelp is way too threatening. Way too threatening with the uh, specs adaptability. Or it can it can run specs if it wants to. Um, but it, it's just it's just way too threatening. So I'm going to hope that Elekid can take on this uh I'm a, I'm a hope. I'm a hope that Elika can take on this uh, this thing here. Ah, I would have loved to. I would have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This Skrelp is just too much of a threat. It's it's too much of a threat. It's too much of a threat. I don't want to sack off Chimchar because Chimchar has Will O Wisp, and we can use that for the Munchlax. Cause I don't want Munchlax just coming in and just saying, "Hey, body slam everything." Then again, if we keep Carvana alive, we can Destiny Bond, and it's gone. Ah, uh, hmm. But I don't know if Mo will be expecting the Destiny Bond. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into Car Blast because I don't really need Car Blast. Like it, it, I know bringing a full full HP Pokemon in just to let it die. Bad move, Jay. Bad move. Bad move. But. Oh my, I can't believe we lived. I can't believe, how did we live that? <laughs> Can someone explain that to me? Yo, does poison resist bug? I think it does. Let me look at poison. Resist, yeah, it resists bug. Um, shoot, I should just go for the knockoff. I don't know if car blast is outspeeding, but we should just go for the knockoff and just call it a day, right? And then Skrelp is base 30 speed. Yeah, okay, so knockoff will be doing a little bit of damage. And then uh, we die to whatever we die to. Man, that did a lot of damage. Choice specs. 
He was Specs! He was Specs! How about that? Okay, that's fine. That actually, that actually works. That actually works. That works. That works. Because now what we can do is we can send in our Carvana, right? Because we know... Because we know that a crunch... A crunch from that range should KO. But you know what? 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 I think it'll be a safer... I think it'd be a safer move to go into Elekid and just wild charge it. Or actually, it'll be a safer move to just Volt Switch. Um, I was thinking Carvana, but we can just Volt Switch out. Yeah, we can just Volt Switch out. And then, and then he has to let it die. We get Switch Initiative, and so we can bring in the Chimchar, Will-O-Wisp, the Munchlax, Cause that Munchlax, that Munchlax has just been chilling there. He hasn't sent it in once, so that, that tells me that he he is relying on that Munchlax to just he's relying on it, which scares me. It really does scare me that that Munchlax is just chilling there. Um, so I need to start calking for Munchlax, cause this is the this is the thing that has been it's just been a pain in my side, man. It's just been a pain in my side. So, what I want to do is, I want to Willow. Please land a Will-O-Wisp. Please. Oh my gosh, please, 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 please. We have to land a Willow. We have to land a Willow to even be able to handle this thing. We have to land it, and he has to not have a random Lumberry or whatever. Please. Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp, please work. Please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mo is scaring me right now, dude. Mo is scaring me. Mo is scaring me right now. Oh my gosh. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Please. Cause Chimchar is gonna go down here if he just uh And I'm I'm really afraid he's gonna like curse or something, but okay. So we land a willow. Nice, nice. So we get some residual damage. He goes with a body slam. Nice, nice. And our Chimchar is gone. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Because now what we can do is we can go into Carvana. And let me see, because I don't think Carvana can even live a hit no matter no matter what. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there a way to status? Burn. Oh, Body Slam isn't even KOing us. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, we don't even run a Protect on this set. Huh. Funny. Well. Let's go for the Crunch. And let's see just how much this does. Oh. What? Ah, berry juice. Darn. Wow. That literally just did nothing. That did nothing. Okay. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna Destiny Bond. Let's do it. I have no reason not to. Let's do it. If he doesn't KO us this turn, we could just go for whatever move. Yep. And there it is. Whoo! All right. So we came out with the 1-0. I think, yeah, we came out with the 1-0. So, whoo, good game. Good game to Mo. Good game to Mo. Oh, man, that Munchlax was, that Munchlax was really, really scary, but... Uh, I mean, I think we handled it pretty well. I think we definitely handled it uh, really, really well. Um, I'm still really, like, tripped up over the Aftermath play because, like, Aftermath didn't take effect. I don't know why. Maybe someone can let me know down in the comment section below, but um, I don't know. I think we played... I, th I think we played all right, though. But good game to my opponent, though. Good game to Mo. Um, 
Electric was kind of scary. Skrelp was scary until I realized it's really, really slow. So, you know, Elekid just comes in and completely bodies it at any point in time. Um, the Abra was a little terrifying um, until I learned that Abra can't really do anything unless it has HP ground uh, for Stunkies. Um, the Dratini was really confusing me. I don't know what item that Dratini had. Maybe I was just calcing speed wrong. Or something but I feel like didn't Dratini still outspeed us um, even after the uh, shell smash which I'm like okay so I, I don't know if the Dratini was choice or not but maybe it was uh, it kept going for waterfall it didn't go for outrage or anything like that and I had no fairy so he was free to go for outrage um, I don't know I don't know I don't know but uh, I'm, I'm really surprised he didn't bring the hoot hoot excuse me I'm actually really surprised he didn't bring the hoot hoot because um, he has no reliable spinners. Well, then again, I didn't bring Stunky until this, until this week, so uh, I can't really be talking. But um, a definitely good game to my opponent, though. I definitely uh, have fun. I'm having fun in this league. You know, Little Cup is definitely a really wild tier to play. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below to show your support. For, uh, support the boys. Support the dreams. Support the team. Check out most side of the battle down in the comments uh, down in the video description below. Be sure to check out the UCL uh, Twitter down in the description below, and um, I will see you guys next week because we will be replaying um, the Tucson Terrakions, aka Nappy, and uh, hopefully we can get another win um, because I know that he is going to be he's going to be 100% prepared for everything, um, and you know I. Uh, I want to win. I want to win. I want to do well. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.